Greetings everyone. I am Sri Roshni Nakka, legal intern at LawMix. Today, the topic of the video is e-way bill and credit debit notes. To begin with the introduction, in the realm of modern commerce, the digitalization of transactions has brought forth various mechanisms to streamline and regulate trade. Among these, the e-way bill system and utilization of debit and credit notes stand out as crucial elements facilitating smooth transactions and compliance with tax regulations. What are e-way bills? E-way bills are electronic documents required for the movement of goods worth over a certain threshold value across the state borders in India. These bills aim to ensure seamless transportation of goods while enabling tax authorities to track and monitor the movement of consignments for tax compliance purposes. What are the key components of e-way bills? Generator, the entity responsible for initiating the e-way bill generation process. Transportator, the individual or entity tasked with physically transporting the goods. Recipient, the party to whom the goods are being delivered. Now, what are debit and credit notes? Debit and credit notes serve as essential accounting instruments used to rectify error errors, adjust invoices or acknowledge changes in the transactional values. While debit notes indicate an increase in the buyer's liability or a decrease in the seller's receivables, receivables credit notes represent the opposite. In order to notify the seller the products or services have been returned, the buyer issues a debit note against the seller which amounts to the return of goods and supplies. The debit notice is being sent to the seller in order to inform him. Now what is the legal framework of e-way e bills? Goods and Service Tax Act 2070. The introduction of Goods and Service Tax Act in India mandated the way of e-way bills for the interstate movement of goods exceeding specified thresholds. The Central Goods and Service Tax Rules 2017 Rule 138 Chapter 16 addresses the e-way regulations. According to the rule, the government is responsible of mentioning the documents a person will carry when he transports goods and services for stores things while they are in transit. The government will designate the document through notice until the council approves or develops an e-way bill system. The central goods and service tax plays a very important role. The central goods and service tax rule 2017's e-way rule provision is improvised or unclear. The EV bill is not sufficiently specifically mentioned in the rule. Until such time as an EV bill system is developed and approved by the council, the statement reads, When commodities are being transported, the individual doing the transferring must carry a document that the government has designated for that purpose. However, it isn't made clear. Now, let us see how the generation of EV bill takes place. The examination of goods in transit is covered in Section 68 of Central Goods and Service Tax Act 2017. The government has mandated that if the worth of the items reaches a specific threshold, the individual transporting or conveying them must carry or hold a document. The document that the individual is bringing with them to transport the items will be approved in accordance with the guidelines set forth by the government. The person transporting the goods is required to present the documents and devices specified in the section and he must also permit the proper offer. Now let us see the applicability of e-way bills under goods and service tax. The way bill system existed before the implementation of goods and services tax. During the value added tax era, way bills were used for the transportation of goods and services. This, this, this bill was physically created by the conveyance or shipment of the goods and services. Now, who will produce the e-way bills? 1. A registered person and the goods and services tax. In the event that the registered person conveys goods and services tax subject to GST, the registered person and the consignment received of the goods and services must generate. Now, fines for failing to have an e-way bill. And a transporter may be subject to legal repercussions if he is discovered transporting cargo without an e-way bill. In the event that the items are transported between the states without an EV bill, the carrier must be responsible for paying either the whole amount of tax evasion or rupees 10,000. If the transportator fails to carry the EV bills, they will be subject to such fine. Now, let us see the retention of items. If it is found that the taxpayer has not followed the prescribed policies, his goods and car cargoes will be impounded or held. This kind of action will be taken without warning. The vehicle or goods may be released whenever the tax liable payer, taxpayer pays the entire amount 
or or just half of it so these are the processes now let us see the credit and debit notes what is the legal framework credit and debit notes are covered under section 34 of the central goods and service tax act 2017 however this clause does not expressly address the specifics that must be included in both the credit and debit notes the government retains the authority to determine which details should be included in the credit and debit notes rule 53 of the act plays a very important role what are debit notes a debit note is defined as a record or document that is delivered or issued under section 34 sub clause 3 by registered person in the goods and service tax act 2017 according to 34 sub clause 3 of the goods and service tax if an invoice or tax bill is delivered as a result of provisions of goods and services and it is covered that the value of the goods and services stated in the invoice or bill is less than the actual value of the goods and services the rate of the products and services detected the reduced rate the circumstance in which the debit note is issued upon the return of the goods and services is mentioned in the act when can the debit notes be issued there can be no time limit to give any debit notes it can be issued in two circumstances one when after the bill or invoice is issued two when an invoice or bill is produced but the tax on the goods and services is altered thereafter however invoice is different from debit note the list of products and services that have been incurred together with the total sum that has to be paid for them are displayed on the invoice it shows the amount which is already paid according to rule 53 a debit note must contain the heading of debit note name of the supplier gst number receiver's name date etc these two circumstances clearly establish when can a debit note be issued now come into credit note A credit note is a tool or document that is provided to the customer or purchaser by the vendor or the products and services. The supplier of goods and services notifies or informs the client that a credit of the specified amount has been up to his account through the credit notes. The buyer returns the items and services thus his account has been credited with the money. As per this Goods Act 2017 section 2 sub clause 37 a credit note is defined as a record or document that is issued or supplied by registered person under section 34 sub clause 1 when products and services have been returned because they are defective they are reported by the recipient or receiver the tax included in the bill is greater than the tax that needs to be included when credit notes are possible to be issued in two circumstances the credit notes can be issued one is when the tax value listed on the invoice or bill exceeds the actual tax amount two when the provider receives the goods and services back from the recipient these are the two circumstances where the credit note can be issued now we'll see what are the difference between a credit note and a debit note the initial difference is that the one with who is issuing it in debit note the purchaser issues while in credit note the seller issues the note blue ink is used in writing debit note while red ink is used using the credit note debit note represents the positive amount of purchaser that can adjust in next purchase while the credit note displays the negative amount debit note includes in the return for the month while credit notes are recorded in the sale return book so there are certain differences between credit note and debit note these differences play a very important role now let us see what is the conclusion conclusion EV bills and debit card bills are very essential and they are indispensable rules in modern commerce facilitating the smooth movement of goods and ensuring compliance with tax regulations while credit notes or the seller paperwork debit notes are issued by the buyer or purchaser the buyer or seller will record any returns of the goods in the purchase return book as e-commerce continues to evolve in the digital age the significance of EV bills and credit card notes will only grow and scoring their importance as essential tools for modern day trade while credit notes are the seller's paperwork debit notes are issued by the buyer and purchaser as i already mentioned thank you